right? So I recently did that video just about a week, week and a half ago, where I went through all of the different years from 2019 to 2022, and I compared card values and were the trends going up, were the trends going down. And I looked at cards specifically, vintage cards in the 1950s. And I looked from PSA 1 all the way to PSA 9. So again, it was comparing 2019 to 2020, 2020 to 2021, and so on. And again, I did that for 10 different cards from 10 different years in the 1950s. And I got a lot of feedback and I always appreciate the feedback and I want you to provide me with feedback. And there were a couple of main questions that I got over and over and over. And so I wanted to address one of those common questions in this particular video. So the question was, how does 2023 look so far versus 2022? So again, we're comparing cards from 10 different years, grades one through nine, and is the trend up for 2023? Is it going down for 2023? Because so many people are continuing to post information about how the hobby is completely tanking right now. And they'll use one card and one grade as an example. They'll go, this card sold for this amount, you know, one year ago, and this is what it just sold for now. That's one card. That's not the whole market. So for vintage collectors, the 50s is where a lot of us focus. So I took the opportunity to go through the data for the first quarter of 2023 and include that in a direct comparison to 2022. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at the grades from 2022 and compare them to what those cards are selling for so far in 2023 so we actually have data not just one card not just one comparison but data that will tell us what is happening with the card market so far in 2023 check this out tell me what you think about it are you surprised by the results or are they what you thought they would be all right so per your request here we have a comparison of the 2022 stats for these 10 cards from the 1950s to how they've done so far in 2023. So first up, the 1959 Bob Gibson Rookie. Now this looks bad at first, but then when you actually look closer, several of these drops are not by much. So a half a percent. 2.9%, 5%. It definitely has dropped in the first quarter, but it's not a crazy amount that it's down. The average is down 5%. So when we're talking, you know, about a pretty big card in the 1950s, 5% is not a huge amount. Uh, although across the board, it does seem to be dropping some. Next up, the 1958 Yogi Berra. Again, when we're looking at the drops, now this one has a little bit more of a significant drop. At, at the three grade, it's down 25%. At a five grade, it's down 31. At a six grade, it's down 25%. And then the eight is down 31%. Overall, though, it's down 19%. So 20%. In the first quarter, that's a pretty significant drop for the 58 uh, Tops Yogi Berra. So, you know, but it's not a super expensive card. So, you know, a 5 or $10 drop is pretty significant as far as the percentage goes. So here we've got a 57 Sandy Koufax. So the 4 is up 20%. The 7 is up 15%. And then the three is just about even. It's just down 1.2%. As a whole, it's pretty flat. It's down 3%, 2.9%. But, you know, it's nothing I don't think to panic over. 
So again, two of them are up, four of them are down. And then the others we don't have enough data on. Now when we look at Ted Williams, the 56 Ted Williams, again, a lot of that lavender color, meaning drops, you know, we've got 3.8%. Then it's up a little bit for the two. The three is down just 4%. You know, and then we've got down 19, down 10, down 15, down 6. So again, pretty consistently in the first quarter, we are down. And, and you know, if you're holding your cards long term, this is not something that I would get too concerned about. Um, if you've got cards you've been trying to flip and you're losing value, then that's a little bit of a concern, I suppose. But my advice is don't get too twitchy yet. Let's look at all these numbers. So we've got the 55 Willie Mays. So the 1 is up 31%. The 2 and 3 are up a little, basically flat. The 4 is up 18%. And then the 5 is down 30 and the 6 is down 17 So of the 6 grades that we have data on here, Four of them are up and just two of them are down. As a whole, on average, this card's up 3.7% up. So the Willie Mays is up. So we started out with a lot of bad news, but this one's actually, on average, higher than it was last year. So is that because it's Willie Mays or is that because it's a 55? Or Well, let's just keep looking and find out. So... The banks, there haven't been a ton of 54 banks as sold in 2023. The one is basically flat. The four is up a little. The seven and eight are down quite a bit at 24 and 19%. So as a whole, it's down about 10%. So it's like, well, what do we do if a lot of these cards are down? What do we do? Do we panic? Well, you know, Warren Buffett's a pretty smart guy, and he's a contrarian. He says, do the opposite of what everyone's doing. So if everyone's selling, he says, don't sell, you should be buying. When everyone's buying, that's when you should be selling. So if the market is down, it might be a buying opportunity. So we've got Whitey Ford here, down two, down six, down four. Again, those are very, very modest down. So it's down 4%. You know, a lot of these grades are, you know, under $200. So down 4% is like 10 bucks. It's just not a big deal. So, but it is, it is down and it is just in the first quarter. So those are things to be, a, we want to be aware of what the market's doing. And again, it doesn't mean that we should be panicking, though. So this is a 52 Eddie Matthews. Not one 52 tops Eddie Matthews in a PSA holder has sold this year, which is kind of interesting. It's a really expensive card. It's his rookie card. It's a 52 tops. It's a high number. Those are kind of the trifecta for expensive, uh, but no data here. To report on but again you know there is a trend but then you got warren spawn here so not a lot of warren spawns have sold but there are some fours that have sold are some threes that have sold are some sevens that have sold but the only one we have to compare is the four and it's up 66 percent i mean in 22 the average was 129.36 and then in 23 it's a 215 this card's up. So there are some bright spots in there, um, you know, and and again, the, the price of the other two aren't bad. For the Bob Feller, we don't have a lot to compare because, again, there haven't been a ton of sales. It's one of the reasons I didn't include 2023 is because it's just one quarter. So the data is not as complete, so we don't have as many comparisons, as many examples to compare but the seven, it is up. So it's up 2.4% in the ones that we can compare year over year. 
So let's look at a quick overall summary. Went through each card, but let's compare them all side by side. So the 59 Gibson again is down right about at 5%. And then the 58 Barra is down. That one was pretty significant, down 19% on average. The Koufax is down 2.9%. And then that Ted Williams, 56, is down 8.2%. The maze is up. That was our first green number out of the first five. And then the Banks rookie is down 10%. The 53 Ford is down 4.2%. We did not have an Eddie Matthews example to compare. The Warren Spawn is up quite a bit. And then the Bob Feller is up a little bit. So again, we have nine grades to compare last year to this year. Nine different cards, I should say. And overall, six of them are down and three of them are up. So that doesn't tell me a ton of doom and gloom like everybody has been reporting. But to me, the most valuable information, the most interesting information at least is when we look at the overall summary by grade. So the PSA 1s for all of the cards combined is up 9%. That's interesting. The 2s are down a little bit, down 4%. And then the 3s are down a little bit, 5.6%. And then the 4s are up 12%. So in the first four grades, the one, two, three, and four, we got two down, two up, but the two that are up are up a fair amount. So I really think that this says something about though the market might be down a little bit overall right now, the lower grades are doing okay. And then we look at the five, and the five's down 21%. The six is down 15%. So as we're getting to the higher, mid, and higher grades, it's more negative than it was with the lower grades. Again, the 1, 2, 3, and 4 are either up or barely down. The 5 and 6 are down quite a bit. The seven's down a little bit. The 9's down quite a bit. So this data to me is really valuable, really interesting the lower grades are doing better so far in this market that is slightly down. The higher grades are the ones struggling the most. I found that a little surprising, but I found that to be pretty valuable information. What do you think of this data? 